Well, we have our newest Republican uh, candidate for president, Larry Elder. You might remember he attempted to um, defeat Gavin Newsom in the recall election back in 2021. And now he's running for president. He'll be up against Vivek Ramaswamy, Nikki Haley, uh, Trump, obviously, possibly DeSantis and some others. Um, very, <laughs> I should say very little. That's the most accurate way, but no chance of winning. Technically, anyone has a chance, but no chance of winning here from the New York Times. And then we'll look at him making this announcement. Larry Elder, a conservative talk radio host who was a breakout star on the right after running unsuccessfully in California's recall election in 2021, said on Thursday evening that he was running for president. He made the announcement on Tucker Carlson's show on Fox News, joining a growing Republican field that is led by former President Donald J. Trump and Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, who has not yet made his run official. And Larry Elder is a pretty... Pretty bonkers right wing figure for sure. He's a, as it noted, radio host, um, radio show host. And here was this announcement on Tucker Carlson's show. For all those reasons, I was called the black face of white supremacy and a white supremacist in terms of my views. My announcement, Tucker, is that I'm announcing that I'm running for the presidency of the United States on your program. And thank you wow. so much for giving me this honor and this platform. Of course. Uh, my website is elderforpresident.com, elderforpresident.com. And Tucker, the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, my father was a World War II vet. He served in, in, on, on the island of Guam. He was a Marine, first black Marines. They were called Monfort Point Marines. My older brother, my late older brother, Kirk, was in the Navy during the Vietnam era. And my little brother, Dennis, actually served in Vietnam in the Army. I'm the only one who didn't serve. And I don't feel good about that. Uh, I feel I have a moral, a religious, and a patriotic duty to give back to a country that's been so good to my family and to me. And that is why I'm doing this, Tucker. I love the idea of giving back. I just don't think being the most powerful person in the country, arguably the world, <laughs> is the way you should give back to your country, uh, in the case of Larry Elder. So, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty sure Vivek Ramaswamy did the same thing, but Larry Elder there making the announcement on Tucker Carlson's show, that tells me everything I need to know about you. An individual who's separate from all the views he's espoused uh, over the years is just now in the middle of being exposed for clearly, undeniably, knowing lies were being perpetuated on the air, on his show, choosing to assist in those lies being perpetuated, choosing to mislead his viewers about the 2020 election, specifically in regard to Dominion. That's what this is in reference to. Um, and behind the scenes, recognizing how absurd these very lies were. And that's who you're going to choose to go uh, on their show and make your, your big announcement about running for president. But I'm sure for a campaign that obviously isn't going to go anywhere, at least getting the publicity of making the announcement in front of this big audience of of people who like Tucker Carlson, maybe that's serving the ends that Larry Elder is hope, uh, hoping to serve. But we'll see what comes of the Larry Elder presidential campaign.